Hello, this is Sadly Crush. First, I would like to thank the Korean community for all the attention and encouragement. Thank you all for being tolerant about a few days of delay from the announcement originally made there, and even worrying about my health. The add-on program I'll be introducing is Deadly Trade. Based on my previous program, Exile Direction, I added a few useful functions like trade notifications. After the mid-June update of Kakao Client, Whisper Chat Log was disabled for its users due to privacy policy or whatever. It basically caused a malfunction of previous trade-associated add-ons, so I devised a method that functions properly and abides by the policy. Deadly Trade supports both Kakao and GGG clients, working regardless of the language settings. This version is optimized to 9020-1080 windowed full-screen mode. Deadly Trade main features: add-on launcher, configuration, installation, and verification. Upon executing the program, it checks for available updates and imports currency data from PoE Ninja. Reimporting currency data every launch may seem unnecessary, so you can turn it off temporarily. Upcoming updates will be done automatically if there are no critical errors. And to get rid of the difficulties regarding the PoE directory, I implemented an automatic directory detection. Whether you run the game prior to add-on or not, it will locate the directory once the game is running. When the add-on detects the running game, click Start button to initiate it. After clicking on the push pin button, you can pin or unpin the windows. After unpinning, you can move the main window freely by dragging it. Double-clicking the red triangle corner of this main window will collapse or expand the main window. These are some customizable basic hotkeys. These will toggle the following overlay. To show the remaining monstrous count, press F2. To see the immortal syndicate info, press F3. To see the Zotal incursion info, press the F4. To see the Atlas cartography info, press F6. And you can press F5 to travel to your hideout. Down the left corner is a button that leads to your hideout, just above the game menu button. Magnifying glass icon near the health bar or orb opens a window for specifying stash positions by coordinates. We'll get back on this shortly when we introduce the trade associated functions. When your cursor is placed inside the stash area, you can use Ctrl plus mouse wheel to switch between the tabs. Regardless of the language, the lead trade can help specify item from a trade whisper chat. Configure the stash location by approximately matching the grid to the top corner of your stash. Without problems, it would work fine with basic add-on setting. When trade whisper originates from a GGG client user who could be you or others, a notification panel will appear without exceptions. After the configuration of the grid, the item that is about to be traded will automatically be located when a trade notification panel appears. The checkbox on the left side of the item coordinates is a grid indicator. When checked, it means that it is a quad tap, and unchecked, it means that it is a normal tap. Well, this automatic item locating will be functioning properly only except one condition, when a Kakao client user whispers. We'll get back on this later. Notification text will be green if you are selling, red when you are buying. When the counterpart enters the area, a little notification box will appear. When you click on the currency icon, a simple currency calculator appears. There are utility buttons you can use to invite a player, kick a player, ask the player if he or she is still interested, visit the player's hideout, and request a trade. 
there are message buttons you can use to send the customizable messages for instances like when you have to thank the other player for trading or you have to ask them to wait a little bit of time or you have to tell them that the item has been sold already. When you're buying item from another user, the information of the item you want to buy would appear on the notification panel. If you are using Kakao Client, it would appear on the notification panel too, which was disabled after the June updates. When a Kakao Client user whispers, we cannot use a notification panel to automatically specify the item due to the previously mentioned policy. In this case, you can double click on the magnifying glass button and enter the coordinates manually to locate the item. Upon the double click will appear a tool window, location of which can also be modified. Enter the coordinates to locate the item. Use a checkbox to switch between normal and quad tab. After the June update, whispers from Kakao users could not leave its log. Language of the Ning name or text is of no problem. Only solution of this would really be the change of law. There could have been many other ways, but manual specification was the most policy conforming method. So, to clarify, when a Kakao client user whispers, we cannot use a notification panel to automatically locate the item. So, you can use the magnifying glass icon to manually locate the item by entering the coordinates yourself. Uh, you can configure each time as color on the settings window. There is no need to configure your customized flask hotkeys to use this function, as the add-on automatically detects the user's settings. With on-off buttons above each flask, we can toggle their timer function respectively. Last time a toggle would be instantly applied. You can use a previously mentioned pin and unpin function to customize the location of your timer. And, of course, you can also configure the duration of the timer, depending on your own flasks. Currency Value and Calculator By importing the data upon add-on launch, searching in-game would not affect performance and will be instant. There is a simple currency calculator on the right side, functioning on imported values. Changing the league will re-import the real-time currency data of it. Only when you change your league, it will take some time to import the data. You can search the certain name of a map on the map helper, which will provide you with some information. When you enter an Atlas map, map helper will provide you with useful information about a valuable item that drops on a certain map, usually divination cards. You can use the search function inside the map to simultaneously look for the information about a certain map you want and also about the map you are present.
My new Immortal Syndicate overlay features a searchable information tablet. By searching the first two or three characters of a certain character in Immortal Syndicate, you can highlight the information of a certain member. The highlight will especially be cast upon the valuable positions of each member. There are also information overlays about Azotal Incursion and Atlas Cartography, but they are not as utilized as the Immortal Syndicate one and will be updated in the near future. In the settings window, hotkeys and flask configurations, as mentioned earlier, can be done. Notification panel settings are available. Every Windows will automatically remember its position. Contact me to share any of your ideas, add on errors, thoughts, and well, I really hesitated to do this, but a donation button is added. They will only be used for development improvements and server maintenance, and they will be disabled over a certain amount of money. Since the Korean launch of Path of Exile, localizing existing add-on programs affected me in many aspects. Mercury Trade, Trade Macro, PoE Compass, Lab Compass, Trade for PoE, Currency Comp, Exilence and many more, all are such an amazing and inspiring examples that I can thank enough. All of my add-ons, including this, Deadly Trade, started empty-handed, completely on my own, which means I couldn't have dreamed of navigating through this far without the mentioned frontiers. Although I had great predecessors that inspired me with their ideas, building a functioning program from a completely blank project meant leaving some little cracks and holes here and there, which I would love to improve together with you people.